Hey guys, this is Chubbs back again with another Doom Builder tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make deep water. Now, I had done a deep water tutorial several years ago, but uh, in that tutorial, uh, it, it used a uh, sort of like an outdated method, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys an alternate method that involves 3D floors. Uh, this method is a little bit better in my opinion, and I find that it's a little bit uh, easier to work with and uh, a little bit more flexible, I guess. Uh, before we get into that method, I do want to point out that I'm using GZ Doom Builder. This is the editor that I recommend. I think it's better than Doom Builder 2. And uh, also, I'm using the uh, UDMF map format, as you can see here. So anytime you start a new map, uh, you want to choose uh, Doom 2 UDMF. This is the most modern format. It's the one that's most flexible. Uh, in most of my older tutorials, I used Hexen format. This is sort of obsolete. Uh, UDMF is the one that you really should be using. Anyways, getting to the deep water itself, uh, let's first look at the map that I've set up here. So we have a, a square room as usual, and then in front of the player we have a sort of like a deep pit or like a, a pool. Uh, and this of course is going to be where the water is going to be placed. So since this method involves 3D floors, uh, we're going to start by setting it up just like you would any other 3D floor. So let's go ahead and this uh, pool sector does not have a tag yet. Let's go ahead and give it a tag of 1 in sector mode. And then let's go back into line mode. And let's go outside the map here. You can go anywhere. And let's create a small dummy sector. I'm just going to create a uh, triangular dummy sector. And then while you're still in line mode, go to any of the lines here. I usually go to this longest line open its properties and give it an action of 160 and that is sector set 3d floor you can also get to it by opening this menu uh, expanding the sector category and then finding it here sector set 3d floor so uh, the very first thing you want to do is change sector tag to match the sector that you want the 3d floor to be in of course that'll be our pool which we just gave a tag of one so just type one there and if we just leave it like this, if we go into visual mode, you can see here that the uh, pool is pretty much covered by this solid 3D floor. And I'm just going to uh, change its size here. So you can see this is just like a totally solid block, basically. And what we want to do is we want to change this so that it is both uh, swimmable instead of being solid and so that it's a, a little bit transparent that way you can uh, see through it instead of it being like you know just totally solid so that's really really easy to do let's go back out of visual mode and let's go back to the line properties the first thing you're going to change is under type if you pull up the list here you're going to uncheck solid because we don't want this to be like a solid block and you're going to check swimmable and now, just by making that change, that 3D floor that I just showed you is basically a swimming pool. You can jump into it and you can swim around in it. And last, but certainly not least, we want to change the opacity. Uh, by default, it is totally solid. Uh, basically, you know, you can't see through it at all. And in order to make it transparent, all you have to do is just change this value here to something that's less than 255 but greater than 0. Um, I'm going to try and go like somewhere in the middle. I guess I'll just change it to uh, 125. I think that'll be okay for now. And with all these properties set, if we click OK and go back, you can immediately see that now we can kind of uh, see like straight through this. Um, of course, we also want to change the position of it so that it's down in the pool. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, instead of manipulating it here, I'm just going to go over to the dummy sector. I'm first going to start with the bottom part here. I'm going to lower it down to the floor of the pool. Just like that. And then I'll deselect it. And then we'll go to the top part. This is like the this is basically going to be like the surface of the water. And we're going to lower it. Uh, so that there's sort of like a little bit of a lip that's left, just like that. And of course, you know, right now it doesn't look like water because of the texture. So let's highlight the surface of the water here and then hold down control 
right click and then just choose a water texture uh, F water 1 which is right here is like the basic doom water texture so you can just go with that and we are basically done so we have a, a transparent 3d floor that functions as a uh, swimmable body of water so let's go ahead and let's just test the map real quick and see what this looks like and acts like All right, so you can see that we could jump into it and swim around it and all that stuff. And you could also see where it was transparent. Uh, but there is one detail that we still need to correct. And that is uh, when you go down into the water, it doesn't have a uh, like a watery color to it. It's just like totally clear. Uh, thankfully, that is also extremely easy to do. All you have to do is go into sector mode, go to your dummy sector, right click it and then just change fade to a blue color uh, so we'll just move the color swatch thing here to a sort of a blue and you can see it's still black because of this slider here we need to move this slider up and I'm gonna give it a sort of a dark blue color I guess and we'll see how that looks um, I'll just I'll try that for now click OK I'm not sure if you can see it in visual mode or not. So let's go ahead and let's play the game now and let's see how that looks. There we go. So you can see that was much, much better. So that pretty much sums it up. Uh, this method, in my opinion, is the best one to use because... Uh, 3D floors are pretty easy to work with, and what's kind of cool about this is that, uh, like, we could go here to the uh, like dummy sector, for example, and let's raise this entire 3D floor up. Let's raise it like this. I'm going to make it a little bit taller, too. But, like, if you had something like this, you could basically have, have the equivalent of, like, a floating swimming pool. Like if we, uh, if we go to all these textures here and change them to water, just so it looks more like a pool. Like we could, we could have a map with something like this, and you can jump around and swim in it. Like you could do that to allow the player to, uh, like, navigate upwards or, you know, do, do, you could do cool stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's very flexible, easy to use, easy to set up and customize, and uh, just uh, really cool, I think. So, uh... I think I covered just about everything. Hope this helps you guys out. Again, I think this method's a little bit better than the one that I showed in the older deep water tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask. And this is Chubb signing out.